To help improve the learning process for students, medical schools are ramping up the use of tech, including virtual and augmented reality tools to simulate common procedures, as well as AI in prescribing medication more accurately. And as Sabrina Ng finds out, these tools also help to cut down on the workload of teachers too. What you're seeing is a mixed reality tool, both virtual and augmented, being used to train medical and nursing students how to insert tubes for intravenous strips. It gives students at Yonglu Lin School of Medicine a three-dimensional view of anatomical structures. This helps them better understand how procedures like this, as well as removal of tumours, are carried out. These are scenarios textbooks may not illustrate quite as well. As far as the medical students are concerned, because um, the visualization is uh, way better compared to the old way of teaching, previously all these information are either available in 2D or even when they are available in 3D, uh, virtual reality form is uh, reconstructed from graphics. Whereas nowadays, all these things are actually real patients' material that is anonymized and converted into holograms. The school adds that it's working with a software company to create avatars of patients in different clinical scenarios. The device helps students in key areas like decision-making. At the Lee Kong Chan School of Medicine, the incoming intake of first-year students will get the chance to better understand how organs like the heart works. Again, this VR tool is especially helpful for students to better visualise anatomy. Teachers' workload is also reduced. To explain the same development of the heart, I should be drawing at least 20 images on the screen to explain the students on what is happening. Whereas when they tell them, okay, go to the VR and have a look, they can easily manipulate what I'm trying to convey from my mind to their mind. Learning to accurately prescribe medication for the next batch of final year students just got a shot in the arm, thanks to AI this time. The system closely resembles those at hospitals. The previous model will be a strictly exact word matching that the students have keyed in and then they will be given the correct answer. But sometimes spelling mistakes happen. In real life prescribed for a patient, there could be two ways that are both equally right to prescribe. But in the previous model of marking, that is not acceptable and it really gives very good feedback because it's almost immediate. That also means marking a student's work is now more reliable. The school says the system can prescribe medication up to 99% accuracy.